Hi, this time I will show you how to change a sign outside a building. Here in the Fusion page the clip is already loaded as media in and connected to a media out node. Select the media in node and press shift space to open the tool selection window. Search for planar tracker and add it after the media in node. For better tracking result, we want to start from a frame where the sign is bigger and clearer. Here I found frame 150 is good. With the planar tracker node selected, clicking on each corner of the sign to create four control points, click the first one to close the shape to cover the sign board. In the inspector, click the set button to set reference time to current frame 150. Click track to end to start tracking forward. After tracking is done, click the go button to move playhead back to reference frame 150. Click track to start button to track backward. Once the track is complete, change the operation mode to steady. Play the clip, we can see the edges are warped dynamically in order to keep the sign region pinned in place. Next we will erase the old sign and replace it with a new one. Add a background node to the editor by dragging it from the toolbar. Click the paint button to add a paint node after the background node. Drag the output of the paint node to the tracker node output. A merge node is automatically added and connected. Select the background node and change the background color to transparent by setting the alpha value to zero. Select the paint node and set the paint tool to stroke in the toolbar above the viewer. By holding down the control key, you can scroll the middle button to zoom in or out the viewer. Press the middle mouse button and drag to pan around the viewer. In stroke mode, hold the alt key and drag around the viewer to pick a color for the brush. In this case, we choose the color of the background inside the sign board. We can resize the paint brush by holding the control key and left dragging the mouse. With the right size and color set to the brush, erase the existing sign by painting the area with the chosen background color. You can also change the brush color and size in the inspector, but I found the mouse shortcuts are much more efficient and convenient. Now we have a clean sign board where we can put the new sign on. I will use the DaVinci Resolve logo and text for this demo. Drag the logo from the media pool to the editor. Merge it with the paint node as foreground. Select the merge node, change the size and position of the logo, fit the logo on the left side of the sign board. To be more realistic, I add a perspective positioner node after the logo. Adjust the four corner points to make the logo appear as much the same perspective as the sign board. Next we add a text node to the editor, edit the text to DaVinci Resolve 17. Merge it with the previous merge node as foreground. Select Merge 3 node, move the text on top of the sign board. Select the text node, change the text color to dark gray for a more natural look. Resize the text to fit it on the sign board. Also for a more realistic look and feel, we can adjust the shear values in the Transform tab and rotate the text a bit in the Layout tab. Lastly, we'll add a bit of blur to the text. Keep the text node selected, click the blur icon in the toolbar. A blur node is added automatically after the text node. Change the blur size, 0.5 seems okay in this case. We can turn on and off the effect here and see the differences. The clip was stabilized by the planar tracker for the sign area, we need to destabilize it to remove the warp transform and restore back the image. Select the tracker node, press Ctrl C to copy the node. Click an empty area inside the editor, press Ctrl V to paste a copy of it. While holding the Shift key, drag the second tracker node and insert it between Merge 1 and Media Out node. With the second planar tracker node selected, go to the inspector and turn on the Invert Steady Transform checkbox. Play the clip, the warp transform is now inverted 
and we have a new sign attached to the building sign board. That's all for today, thanks for watching, and see you next time.